Hey guys, I'm back to a new video. So, this is going to be my September favorites video. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to do a favorite book series that I have because for some reason, two months in a row, I have books, which is weird. But, I have another new book series. I've not actually technically finished it yet, but I've read the first and the second of the three book series, and I just started the third. And I really love the first two, so I'm just basically assuming the third one's going to be good as well. This three book series is by Susan Dun Dernman. Susan Dernman. The first one is called Something Strange and Deadly. Um, I'll read you the little, like, thing about this book, because I don't really know how to explain it, but they're just really good books. So, Eleanor Fitt has a lot to worry about. Her brother has gone missing, her family has fallen on hard times, and her mother is determined to marry her off to any rich young man that walks by. But this is nothing compared to what she reads in the newspaper. The dead are rising in Philadelphia, and then, in a fight, in a fighting, frightening attack, a zombie delivers a, a letter to Eleanor from her brother. Whoever is controlling the dead army has taken her brother as well. If Eleanor is going to find him, she'll have to venture into the lab of the notorious spirit hunters who protect the city from supernatural forces. But as Eleanor spends more time with the spirit hunters, including the maddenly stubborn yet handsome Daniel, the situation becomes dire. And now, not only is her reputation online, but her very life hangs in the balance. So basically, this is a book about necromancy and zombies. And yeah, I just am really into supernatural kinds of books. So this book was really good. The second book in the series is A Darkness Strange and Lovely. I'm not going to tell you what this book is about because it'll ruin that book, obviously. So this book was very good as well. And this is the third book, uh, Strange and Ever After, which I have just started. But I hope to finish it very soon. And I'm pretty sure it'll be good. I've read like two chapters and it's been good already. So yeah, I very highly suggest if you like zombies and necromancing and teen romancy kind of books, that is a good series. Next, we will do favorite purchases, because I actually have some this month. Not as many as I probably would have had, because I was supposed to have my birthday, because my birthday was last weekend. I was supposed to have my birthday with my, my grandparents and stuff that weekend, but I had to change it because of work, so I don't have like the presents and stuff I was supposed to get to them, which are mostly going to be money that I went to use to go buy more makeup, probably. <sighs> but I did buy some new things anyways, because I just like getting new things. Most expensive of them all is from Sephora and it is a Urban Decay eyeliner in the color Psychedelic Sister. Uh, this is the first Urban Decay eyeliner that I actually have tried but they're really good and they stay very well. So yeah, I really like that. Uh, next I bought two NYX eyeshadows because they don't really sell NYX products in that many places, at least where I live. But I remembered that they sell them at Rexall, so I went in there and looking and I was browsing. So I got two eyeshadows. The purple is an ES32 purple, which is a really lame name. And then this one is ES37A or Laguna Sparkle. I'm actually wearing both of these colors on my eyes today. The purple on the lid and the green in the crease. And I have another NYX eyeshadow that I really, really loved, so I just kind of wanted to try some more. And no makeup haul of mine would be complete without a lipstick. I just bought this lipstick a couple days ago, and I've only worn it once, but it's very awesome. It is by Revlon in the color 525 Wine with Everything, and it's a cream finish. So yeah, it's just a really nice kind of red, winey kind of color, which will be really nice for fall, I think. Next we will do favorite music, because I do have some favorite music types of things this month as always, because there's always new music coming out, and I love listening to new music. So, my first favorite tune, new song is Nickelback's, well, two of their new, like, singles, and it's called What Are You Waiting For? It's a really good song, like, if you like Nickelback, then you'll really like it, because it sounds like lots of the songs of their old album. If you don't like Nickelback, obviously you're not going to like it, because, you know, it's Nickelback. But I happen to like Nickelback and have been to two of their concerts, so hate is gonna hate if you hate Nickelback. My second favorite song is All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. I don't know, this is such, it's just such a good like catchy song, like every time this song comes out of my car when I'm driving I just like start singing along and I'm just like, oh yeah, this song's great. 
So, I mean, you've probably heard it. It's on the radio at least a couple times a day, every radio station. So, been really enjoying that song. Last two favorite songs are One Direction's new single called Fireproof that they let us all have for free for a day. And I mean, it's One Direction. I will love it. Basically, even if it sucks, because that's the kind of person that I am. And my last favorite song is Fall Out Boy's new song called Centuries. I heard this song and I fell so in love with it so fast. I was just like, this song is great. I love this song. So yeah, I've basically been having all of these songs on repeat for the last month or so, give or take a little bit. Next we will do favorite videos. I have four favorite videos this month. Two of them are by Amazing Phil. One of them, the first one, Things I Thought Were True Part 3. It's just a really funny video. And then my Tumblr tag 2 with Dennis on Fire by Amazing Phil. Again, anytime Dennis and Phil do a video together, it automatically makes it ten times better. Even though, like, by, when they're by themselves, it's already ten times better than most videos. But then when they're together, it just gets even ten times better than it was before. And it's just... I just love all of their videos together. Speaking of which, my third favorite video is by Dan, and it's Who's More Likely To with Dan and Phil, which they shot at VidCon, I think, but they just took forever to upload it. So yeah, I already gave a reason why I enjoy this video. And my last favorite video is Eon Chapter 1 by Joy Kersefa, which is his new short film series, I think. Pretty sure. I didn't actually know anything about it until I saw it and it popped up in my subscription and I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, I also like that video as well. But last but not least, I want to show you guys someone that is very near and dear to my heart already. We got him two weeks ago now, and I will go get him. Okay, everyone, say hello to Bombay, my new puppy. Yeah, he's my favorite. And in case you're wondering, his name is Bombay, but I call him Bombers because he's great. Except that he's moving! Ah! Bombay! <laughs> Sit still! Ow. Okay, fine! Well, that was violent. Hi, Bombay! Hi! Here, I got something for you. Do oh. you want that? No, no. Can you speak? Speak! So yeah, this is the newest addition to my little family, and basically I'm going to love him forever, because I already love him. And we're not sure what kind of dog he is, because he's a stray, but we're thinking that he is a Rottweiler German Shepherd, just because of his markings, and my mom says because of his dew claw, which he has on his back leg. Apparently that's an indication of Rottweiler. But yeah. Oh, hi Bombay! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hello! So yeah, that is my new puppy. But I hope you guys enjoyed my September favorites. If you did, please give this video a like and comment down below what are some of your favorites from this month. Because I would love, love to know. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys very, very soon with a new video. Come here Bombay! Come here! We're gonna pick you up again, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do an outro. Alright. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>